wow, I need to bring this into the solar company. And when I went back, let's just say it wasn't as well received uh, lovingly. It just at the time, things weren't, you know, it was about just building, growing revenue right over there. And I was like, no, I want to just take this approach. And just to fast forward three months later, brother, I did, this is the part I, I shared with you. I had, I evaluated, I said, if I was in my own movie, and if I'm not the character, I'm not, I'm reading my own story. I'm watching myself on this film, in this film. What is the audience? What would I want this superhero, this hero to do in this moment? I knew no question, everyone but my mom and my uh, stepfather uh, would probably um, not, or my dad too, would not want me to make this crazy decision to walk away from millions of dollars. But anybody else watching knew that it was, it was the move to, to follow my purpose and to bring this work, Sean's work, to the world. What's up, everybody? Sam Taggart here with the DDD podcast, and we are coming up on Door to Door Con. And I've actually got a guest that's at a different event right now, and kind of a cool event. Uh, date is it? De date with Destiny, Adam? Where are you at? Yeah, or, date with Destiny, West date. Palm Beach, Tony Robbins. So he literally steps out. So the guest today, he steps out in the private backstage. He's a platinum partner uh, in Tony Robbins' program is able to sit there with this computer up in Palm, West Palm Beach and uh, decides to do this podcast, which is pretty cool. So Adam, his background is, um, he was in you know ADP software sales and did the business to business thing. And then he helped scale a company called Momentum Solar, which I've heard of them. I mean, they were massive. Um, from zero to 500 employees real quick. They were one of the largest in the country and biggest in New Jersey for a while. And um, he ran all their sales and marketing. And then he's now followed his purpose and he's really helping with uh, kind of a personal development company called Unblinded with his co-founder, Sean Callagy, who's out in, uh, he's about to go live at Tony Robbins event. Um, tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow, absolutely. Which is pretty cool. So their big focus is integrity-based influence and you know i think they have a cool approach to this human development and personal development so we're gonna we're gonna dive into that and get to know adam a little bit more but adam before i kind of dive in why do you think it's important to be part of tony robbins event and his masterminds and like why you know you guys run personal development you've coached you were running 500 why are you still investing in coaching and, and events and training like why are you there you know, I, first of all, I want to just honor you in that question. That's a beautiful question, something that we talk about often uh, around ecosystems. And even just before I do that, and I'm going to jump in, I want to say thank you for having me today. Thank you for uh, that introduction. And, um, you know, I've learned so much about you over the last year as well through people that know you. And they've said nothing but incredible things about, of course, what you've been able to build um, and going from knocking on doors brother which uh is not lost on me if you can do that and have the skills and develop them you could do anything in the world and i know that's the mission and the message you're conveying so thank you for having me here today look forward to learning more about you as we continue this journey but to answer your question uh you know it is about ecosystems it's about identifying which ecosystems are still ideal for you to be there and to always look to be a net giver even though i'm paying a hundred thousand dollars a year and I'm in my second year here, and Sean is a lion, uh, which is a sub uh, a sub category. It's a it's a smaller group that is that even gets to go to Tony's house. And although we're in, we have an organization that some may say competing. We don't believe in that. We really believe in how we can add more value to this ecosystem here. And by honoring Tony, by honoring the people here, I mean it's only going to bring more to us in the long run. But that's uh, that's why we're here. We're going to be here. Uh, I couldn't thank Tony for another 10 lifetimes, Sean either. I mean, if not for Tony Robbins, that's where I met Sean the first time. If not for him, his the science, his self mastery teaching and training, uh, I would not be where I am today. So that's why I continue to work within that ecosystem and you never stop growing. So I'll never stop investing in my own personal and professional development so that I could 
you know, impact more people on my journey. I love that answer. And again, thank you for being on the show. And I think too many people get afraid to invest in that personal development. And they might say $100,000, that's ludicrous. That's more than most people make in a year. But it's kind of like, do you, you obviously did it another year. You know what I mean? Like, that, why is that? How do you, how do you calculate? an ROI on investing into masterminds like this or that's yeah another great question and it's something that we break down on a regular basis within online so I'll kind of answer that with also giving some some of the uh, ingredients on what we talk <laughs> about so so ecosystem merging is identifying an ecosystem of your ideal partners and ideal clients as I mentioned to you this Tony Robbins is probably one of the most powerful, influential ecosystems around business people and people looking to grow personally, professionally. So, you know, you, if you just look at it from a transactional perspective, like I'm going in and I'm paying $100,000 and I got five new clients this year, I think you're doing yourself a real disservice and you might be coming in, you know, from a net taker perspective how can i get from this ecosystem how can i take and extract value out um we we created something in within the ecosystem at flat which you know um was approved by them right and it was something called how to be a plat for life so we actually did a whole entire free training and development day on how to come into an ecosystem like you're saying and look to add so much value that a, that you are in service of that ecosystem and the return on investment to your question could be identity because as your as your uh, identity rises within that ecosystem that's gaining value you're building and creating a relationship capital so i've met you know hundreds now of other ecosystem partners and and some have turned into clients, others have turned into business partners. So I'm always looking at evaluating the relationship capital that I'm, that I'm gathering, that I'm acquiring from that ecosystem. And then, yeah, we do have, a, we, we measure how many clients, how much business that we've gotten uh, from a particular ecosystem that we are engaging with. And then finally, it's really the skill sets that we're developing because being here at Tony Robbins, event here date with destiny today i'm always learning um what the teaching there's always micro distinctions that i'm getting on these events and these these teaching and training so it'd be crazy if i left that out of the out of the equation but i hope that answers your question it's identity your identity which is rising within an ecosystem right being able to get value from that it's the relationship capital the people the partners the clients that you're you're meeting Obviously, it's the, the financial side of what you're investing and what you're, what some of the, the, the direct money that you're getting from being a part of it. And then finally, your growth in your personal and professional development as the skills, your skills rise and, and, um, and you do that. And there's also though thinking about, hey, the time I'm here, right? There's opportunity costs because uh, I, I have sales calls, I have coaching clients, I have a, you know, I'm not having my own event, as you said, because I'm here. Uh, at this one and i think a lot of people you know a lot of these guys that go to these me included um are business owners and i think when i talk to somebody about personal growth or development or masterminds i'm like you know i have 70 people in our business masterminds uh this the expert circle and you know i, I look at like usually a conversation goes well i can't make that event or i can't you know i don't have time man if i can't you know and 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 i feel like there is that opportunity cost like you talked about it's like okay this trade-off and there's a lot of unknown opportunity opportunity that we don't see, but we look at it as a cost of, you know, five, six days of your life. And you're like, okay, but what's the opportunities on the other side of those Absolutely. five things? There's unknown relationships. There's unknown training that you haven't received yet. There's unknown value. There's reciprocated clients, X, Y, Z, right? And so it's really hard for us to conceptualize what's beyond the unknown, right? And and so what is known is I got fires to put out, bills to pay, people to sell. You know what I mean? Like I, I have my thing. And I think too often we're so scared of finding what's beyond the unknown, beyond the opportunities and giving up. Like what is it costing you more to stay or is it costing you more to go? Um, yeah. and, and until you've witnessed and had great experiences with that, 
you probably won't spend the money. You know what I mean? Like it takes yeah. kind of jumping into this world. And there's a lot of people that kind of dip their toe. They're like, oh, I listen to podcasts or I, you know, I watch YouTube videos here and there. And I'm like, okay, but like you've spent meaningful time and meaningful money investing in you. And it's probably paid off dividends. So yes. anyway, I, just, I just thought it was a injury. We don't need to t talk on this the whole time, but like anybody listening to this, I just think that principle I've watched so many people. I mean, I interviewed a kid today, you know, applying to come sell for us. And, and I was like, well, what have you done personally? Like what, what, what investments have you made into yourself? And he's like, I went to this solar event. I went to this, you know, and I was like, okay, cool. Did you pay for it? You know what I mean? And, 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 and that was like a piece that I was like, I want to make sure that he values learning before I tell him to go sell it. You know what I mean? Yep, and like, exactly. you're, you're selling learning. How do you be like, Hey, invest in my program and invest in my mastermind or whatever you're selling when you're not even willing to do it yourself. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that is uh that is a truth for sure. So anyway, so let's talk about like, you, you left the solar industry and, and you went into entrepreneurship. Was that a hard move to kind of chase that purpose and, and, and kind of shell shock as you move into, you know, making a lot of money, running tons of employees, crushing the game into building something from nothing? What is that transition like? Yeah, thank you for that question. And it gave me goosebumps because it brought me back to the moment. And uh, I'll, I'll share how I made that decision and, and really the two times I've made a decision like that, I used a similar process mastery around it. And it was, um, to your point, I had taken the company from what was even a startup there. Uh, and I, I had become the face of, of, of Momentum Solar. I had become, it, I would have put a tattoo, I bled blue, it was all of it. And the people that I, I led um, were my inspiration, were my motivation. And I had 500 people in 13 departments and call center and sales and all the places. And um, that was my, my purpose was like, just how do I continue to cause and create opportunity for these people? Uh, and then as, as the journey went on, I decided to, or I wanted to bring in more of this culture the uh, personal professional development. I went with Dale Carnegie and that's where I was like, I was actually running my own leadership classes every week on a Thursday morning and bringing people in early. And, and I said, I gotta get more for myself. Everything you just said, right? How do I, if I'm gonna ask my team to do this, I need to, to learn more, become more skilled and masterful in leadership development, personal development. And that's where I went to my first uh, Tony Robbins Business Mastery event and that's what changed everything for me because I, I went there looking to turn the company into a billion dollar company. I went there looking for my own growth and, um, and, and I found it and I met Sean Callagy who was speaking on stage at that event. So we talked about the power of speaking engagements, the power of uh, relationship capital. And I was sitting next to somebody he gifted a ticket to. That person set up a meeting between Sean and myself. I was so intimidated. Here's this attorney on stage at Tony Robbins at a 125 person law firm. And then I, I, he just gave me the gift of really making me feel seen, heard, understood in that meeting. Uh, he then shared his background, his mission. And that was the first time I heard the integrity based human influence science and formula. And it was about adding more value than you're looking to take. He defined it. How do you add more value than you're looking to take? How do you, be transparent in your intent and have unconditional love for all people with boundaries. Mm. The first time I heard that, that you must have love for all people to be authentic and integrous in your selling and marketing. I was like, Oh my God, I've been looking for this. Like I, I, I this is, oh. this is what I've been searching for. And, and the, the concept of the zero sum game, the concepts uh, of, you know, how I win and take from you and lose and you lose, I win was, it never felt good, right? It was always like, even the high-fiving of my teammates or seeing my team high-five after they just quote unquote closed the deal, had this like weird conflict of like, wait, you know, why are we, yeah, it's great, I'm celebrating. Wouldn't, don't we wanna be high-fiving the person we just sold? And that was always in my heart. And then I met Sean and he, he, he it was so refreshing because you could, 
give more value, I believe, and I always felt that, and have that person receive more. So to give, to just sum it up, that was my first meeting. It was, wow, I need to bring this into the solar company. And when I went back, let's just say it wasn't as well received uh, lovingly. It just, at the time, things weren't, you know, it was about just building, growing revenue, right, over there. And I was like, no, I wanna just take this approach and just to fast forward three months later, brother, I did, this is the part I, I shared with you. I had, I evaluated, I said, if I was in my own movie and if I'm not the character, I'm not, I'm reading my own story. I'm watching myself on this film, in this film. What is the audience? What would I want this superhero, this hero to do in this moment? I knew no question, everyone but my mom and my uh, stepfather uh, would probably um, not, or my dad too, would not want me to make this crazy decision to walk away from millions of dollars. But anybody else watching knew that it was it was the move to, to follow my purpose and to bring this work, Sean's work, to the world. So I made that decision as I left. I will say this as a quote from the CEO, Entrepreneur of the Year, Forbes 30 under 30, nothing but massive respect to Arthur for giving me this the opportunity to build and do all the things because without that identity I don't get to become a co-founder of this company but I did walk away and he said to me on the way out I hope you realize you are leaving uh, millions if not tens of millions of dollars that you earned and I knew that that day but I also felt like the richest person on the planet because I knew there was no amount of money that was going to stop me on this mission and and that's why I honor Tony Robbins so much for him giving me that space to to meet Sean, to, to, to you know have the certainty and confidence to do this. It was the greatest decision I ever made. And I'm and I still have a very good relationship uh, with the guys over there at, at Momentum too. And I'm looking forward to having a little reunion uh, up and coming in the near future. Love that. Love that. Um, great answer, by the way. There was like nuggets on nuggets there. And you know, I think that it's, it's interesting. You said a lot of things, but the first thing I want to just ask, and th this is just what triggered me. Um, I grew up really religious, and I remember the first time I was going to a personal development event, uh, high up in the church looked at me and said, we don't advise that you go to those. And I was like, interesting, why do you not advise that I go to a personal development thing? And a business owner then, looked at the reps and I, or not the, I call up a, call up a guy and I was like, Hey, you should come to, it was my first door door con. I invite a buddy he's out in Florida and he's like, let me call my manager. And he's like, you know, he's making probably $500,000. It's not about the money. And he's like, let me call the regional manager. The regional manager says, Oh no, why would you need to go to any of that? We have the training. And then I said, well, what would he say if you said you wanted to go to a Tony Robbins event? And he said, oh, well, I already asked. He said, no, that's stupid. Why would I go to that? And I was like, wait, wait, wait. You're telling me that the regional and owner did it. And then my church leader was like, no, that's stupid. You shouldn't go to that. And I was, why do you think, why do you think those three types of people would tell somebody not to go? So I would say that one of the things in, in regard to um, self mastery and just the teaching of Tony's work and 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 the the study of why something why people do that I, I would say would simply be out of fear fear of failure fear of rejection um, their own dynamics around control and ego and significance you know being at the top of the list yes. and when when that's your you know your number one you need certainty um, Tony talks about the human needs of certainty and significance. If somebody is in their significance and in their certainty, they would want to control. They'd be fearful that you are going to find, you know, more somewhere else, and that eventually you would leave them behind. Uh, where you know that's a scarcity mindset, and um, I believe in in exponential coming together of ecosystem merging, abundance, and how do we? The, the same reason. I mean, I could you and I could not be on this call because you would say, well, Adam does some personal yes, development yeah. and, and I could be like, well, you have a live events and like somehow there could be like, that'd be crazy, right? But that's a lot of the space we're in, live in that world. And I'm looking forward to, you know, exploring, doing a whole bunch more with you because I believe that the more we come together like this, I mean, just creates exponential outcomes, uh, you know, especially when you have as much identity and relationship capital as we both do. 
um, you know, it's there's no limits to what what could come out of it. And I'm sure the people that were holding you back just didn't see that. Isn't it crazy though? Like, and, and it's like, you know, somebody that would, and, and I'm not saying your owner said that, but, and maybe he high-fived you and said, good job. Like you found- Well, no, here's what he said. Here's what he said. I got a text message. Uh, I'll say without which one. The first day that I was at Business Mastery, taking notes on how to, again, go from the 750, we did a $64 million a month. So I'm there, I'm like, all right, how do we get to that billion? Um, and I got a text message saying, I hope you're having fun on your uh, on your vacation. And I was, in my, and there's a few uh, moments that really, really stand, yeah. the few moments that stand out. And I love him and he, if he heard this, he'd probably be, I'd add him. But truly that really did make a, um, it really did make a difference. Um, and I and I don't blame him. I don't feel any frustration. It was just, you know, the unknown, right? It was really the unknown that uh, I believe caused that. And eventually, I, to your point, and I've been asked this question, if they were more supportive, and, and, and I should say, and if my mastery of influence was a higher level, if I could have articulated the value that I could have delivered okay. with that work, with Sean, okay. and, and to them, I would probably still be there, and we would be doing a lot more together than we are apart. Yeah. I, that is very well put and it's it's one's ability to articulate back and say hey not go with ego not be like oh well, you just are scarcity and you just da, 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 da. it's just like my goal is to better myself that i'm investing in me to then help up level this whole mission that we're both on exactly throwing rocks at me for taking initiative so i just yeah. have entire employees and, and if you're listening to this great book to have your employees read. It's under an hour listen it's letters to garcia the letter to garcia I don't know if you've heard of that, but it's about how you want employees that are willing to go take an initiative, that that, that think for themselves, that innovate, that yeah, maybe mess up kind of taking initiatives, but it's like, good, at least they didn't sit there and twiddle thumbs until you bossed them around and told them to do something. It's I like, love that. Yep. It's a great read if anyone's listening. I will absolutely pass that along to the team and yeah, Sean for sure. It's, it's a great one. Sure. So, one, one of the things that I think is important to just uncover here is that concept of, and I see it in myself too. We're all human. It's not like I have a perfect, you know, there's been copycat events, you know, roof con, solar con, like all these things popping up post my door. And it's great. It's compartmentalizing it and it's fun. Um, it, but I, but I still, I'm like, well, you're going to theirs. You're not going to mine and da, 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 And I get this, like, you know, th th there's that ego, right? And it's just, we're all human. And I, I have to catch myself and be like, good for them. There's so much room to go. Around. People that resonate with ours will resonate with ours. It just makes me want to do the best job possible. Yes. If they resonate with theirs and they want to go there, then great. I hope they're doing their best job possible. Yes. And, you know, it's, it's so hard to train our brains to think that way because since a young age in our little, you know, capitalistic communities of survival of the fittest, we, are forced to play this game of ego and yep. you know so but we don't have to live in ecosystem i love that word you said emerging um emerging ecosystem yeah emerging, emerging ecosystem yeah love that um and guys i think that the more that you know back to my main mission in 2017 when i launched this it was to unify up level and bring honor and integrity and the key word is unity and, it, and it, I texted a, a high up at Vivint where that's where I got my name, right? And I was like, I texted him, I said, dude, why is it that Vivint's never here? And why is it that they're always throwing competing events? Why is it that like, I, I'm like, it almost makes you guys look bad, even though that you're the biggest pioneer and the baddest dog in the in the books. Like, why isn't that you would get behind or or participate? And and it, and it like almost frustrates me every year. And I'm like, and, and the response that they had to look themselves in the mirror would be because we think we're better than, and we think that we don't receive any value by community, and we don't want our people to expose themselves to that. And oh, I'm like, what a terrible energy, <laughs> sad to say. Yeah. Spot on, and, and you, you said the, the words you used, so meaningful, so powerful, um, and and they were, you know, I heard integrity, and, and you said unity, and that is, completely aligned with um, with our mission, our purpose, and how to bring people together and really impact, you know, the world and some of the biggest challenges that are out there. We gotta, you know, definitely come together. And I felt that and sensed that from our first phone call. 
And um, yeah, so super excited to continue um, the journey with you and uh, honored and, and appreciate your kind words and your even the, um, the ecosystem merging concept. The fact that you acknowledge it and hear that, um, that already speaks to me in volumes of your sophistication and understanding. We're not talking about referrals. We're not talking about joint ventures. We're not talking about um, something that is just transactional. We're truly talking about how to cause and create massive you know, so, outcomes in the world. My, my transcending emerge, like my, like that was my mission statement in 2017. So the transcended version of that, that just has launched this year that no, not many people have heard me say, I've been working on a platform called expand for the last year and it goes live next year. It's a, and it's a tech platform for coaches and, and, and leaders and entrepreneurs to better expand the lives they lead. So my new mission is to create a community of industry experts creating expansive experiences. Hence why a community of experts that can create these collective experiences. Like I want to throw festivals of personal development. You know, Tony awesome. Robbins was going to come to door to door con this year. I don't know if you knew that. So I, I did had, not. I, did I not. had Tony crazy. Robbins contract in hand and it's funny that you're there. And it was crazy. Just like when you said, Hey, awesome relationship with great boundaries. I pushed back because he was going to charge, you know, 600 grand or whatever. And he, he said, Hey, I don't, I, he's like, I want 50,000 of who knows what fees. And then I want a, a, a helicopter potentially from the airport. And I was like, well, you're 15 minute drive from the airport. So I don't know why you need a helicopter. And what's the 50 grand of expenditures that are above and beyond all the hotel that I'm already paying for and all the other stuff. And then they rescinded the contract. They were like, Hey, we don't want it. And I was like, Wait, no, 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 I'm like, I was just asking for clarification, yep. but he just has such a strong, this is what I stand for, here's my standard. And if you wanna do business with me, this is what I do. And it was just an interesting um, world, but I was like, man, I think there's one day where there's ecosystems of Tony Robbins events, like a music festival happening all simultaneously together. And I think that the most abundance right. of, of looking at personal development is there's, experts that are in real, real estate there's experts that are in sales there's experts that are in marketing there's experts that are in yoga like and and if you could uh, pick your own journey map and not be so controlled by whoever your leader is and control yourself and think for yourself then all of a sudden you get to go create your own learning and not have to ask everyone you know where should i learn and who should i be with and it's like no just think for yourself here's a smorgasbord a charcuterie board of all these cool things and ways to learn like why not have that exposed instead of like this is mine right so I yes. I'm, I'm on i'm on your same wavelength so absolutely you've, so de you've defined it. unblinded in terms of there's a science there's a formula we say that it's influence process and self-mastery but everything you said we're always looking and modeling who's the best at the outcome and the results that we're looking for we are on a absolute relentless mission finding and, and causing superheroes finding talent and that talent are people with the superpower of influence and applying what we do to applying their vertical their, with their in their industry and, and coming together. Sean's ultimate vision is to sit in the back of the room of a 75,000 person arena, exactly what you said, where people have forgotten um, he, who he is, but are utilizing his technology to do all the things you're saying in all the different verticals um, and just wide open to that. So you, it, it's, it's incredibly, uh, uh, it's it's just amazing how aligned, incredibly aligned we are on, on, on these thoughts. For sure. So tell me what is, uh, you, you said there's this formula. So go a little deeper in your three-step formula and kind of tell us a little bit about yeah. it. Sure. So it, it's just, it's three principles that assess, that allow you to assess where you are, where there's leakage, where the challenge is, and how to be able to you know, get the more you're looking for, more of money, time, or magic. We say in a certain sequence, people in their life, you know, they come to a, a point where, listen, money right now I need for my, for my, to pay the bills, to have the material goods, my main focus is I need to make money right now. The secondary part of that would be time freedom, right? I've, I've established myself with the, with the, the, the things I need, I'm paying the bills, I have the life I want, I would not be willing to work another 10 hours to make double my income. I'm right now focused on scaling, building, growing. I want time freedom is my number one. 
Yeah. And then third is if you have the financial freedom and the time freedom, you find people in that stage where it's like magic. Like I want to impact. I want to. Sean is an example of that. Where now, even though he's working 16 hours a day, you know, blinded, that's his magic. He could be on the beach. He could be, you know, with his kids. And but his, you know, working 16 hours on this mission is for him his passion and his purpose. So. That's the first, the start of like understanding where people are sequentially in their money, their time, and their magic. And of course, there's always some combination of all three. But it's like really identifying what's the main right now, and then it's through the prism as you ask to the formula. The formula is just making it real simple.、Uh, Albert Einstein said, "Make things as simple as possible, but not simpler." It's either your influence, your ability to go from hello to yes. The superpower of influence, adding more value than you're looking to take. We have four steps, twelve indispensable elements, four energies. The first is the unconditional love for all people with boundaries. Taking influence and saying that is a superpower. Everything begins after yes. It's a skill set that you, if you really want to change the world and impact the world, you need to have. The second is process mastery. All we're saying is that's what to do with your influence. That's. That is the ability, as we said, ecosystem merging. There's seven levers of sales and marketing process mastery, starting with shared experience. This is a shared experience. All business is built on relationships. Relationships start with a shared experience. How do you create an initial shared experience that's efficient for people's time, their money, their energy, coming together like this, and also being congruently unique, right? Enough where people are interested and curious. So the start of a shared experience, leading into an ecosystem merger, into speaking engagements, sales meetings, sales,、uh, disposable income, contribution, and fun and magic. Those are the seven levers of sales and marketing process mastery. <laughs> Within four steps, because in process mastery we always start where we were already in modeling. Right? Where? What are we modeling? Who are we modeling for the outcomes we're looking for? One, two, the time box. Not just for tasks, but for the real outcomes in which you need to hit to get to your vision, and we'll get there in one second. It's self mastery. Third is maximization through measuring, monitoring. You know, if you're not getting anywhere, as Tony Robbins says as well, you got to manage the numbers. If you're not managing your numbers and the doors you're knocking on, the phone calls you're making, and all of it, you're never going to be able to truly get the most out of what you're looking for. And then fourth is innovation. And that's vertical or horizontal. That's why we are relentless, no matter what. We know we're going to get, we're going to hit our goal. There's no failure because we're going to relentlessly innovate as we go through this this process mastery over and over. When I talk about modeling in sales and marketing, that's the seven levers within process mastery. Self mastery. Here's how we define it: your ability to get yourself into zone action. Zone action. Is just the most efficient action step that you should be taking in your money, time, and energy that hour, that day, that week, that year. Right? It's zone action. You know that feeling of like of stress. It's because you're. We believe that you're just you're not in zone action. Right? You're like, oh my god, should I be doing this? Could I be doing that? How to get yourself into zone action is self mastery. What you're eating, what the content you're listening to, your fear of failure, your fear of rejection, which all comes down to we believe. Um, but it's it. So the formula, like here it is, you know, out of out of the bag. It's influence, process, and self mastery. It's just everything you're looking to achieve is going to fall under those three categories, and that's where it all begins. And then, you know, of course, in depending on what your outcome is in sales and marketing, cash. I mean,、uh, money, time, and magic. We could just apply and 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 really be able to assess what what you need to、uh, focus on. I hope that answers your question.、Oh. And you did it in like you did like seventeen、oh. hours of probably training in like thirty seconds. That was impressive, brother. Thank you so much. I have to just give it to my man Sean, who has you know、uh, he has brought this to the world after twenty four years, and、uh, and here we are. You know, people ask why didn't people hear about him or know about this before, and and really it just he had a mission for the last ten、um, years of his second law firm. His kids were going to school, and he committed to not missing any games, walking them to school, and getting them off to college. And now that they're they're there,、um, it's an all in、uh, on on Unblinded and what we're doing here today. That's exciting, man. Well, dude, I just want to honor you and appreciate you for being on the show, and I look forward to collectively creating impact、so、in the world today. Like I, I think that 
you know, it was interesting. Yesterday I had a moment where I watched, you know, somebody in my life kind of just lost. And I was like, wow, they just have never learned these tools. They've never seen or opened a door to self mastery. Like I opened that door seven, eight years ago, you know, and, 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 and I look at where I'm at today and just even how I'm able to navigate problems you know my employees were laughing at me because they're like sam i've never seen you get heated i was like oh there's one time you know in five years <laughs> and then and i was like everybody's like oh yeah that one time like they could think of like the one time and they're like wow it is kind of interesting like yeah i don't get worked up super much and it is hard to get me down and there are you know my girlfriend was like do you ever get like this she's sick and she's sad and, and i and i was like yeah i i, I I, I think so. I think I'm trying to remember the last time. Like I'm I'm still human, but like yep. I'm just for me I, I I'm not attached to things. I I, I forgive quick. I, I'm I'm okay to be fluid and 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 live life and I choose and I have boundaries and I set standards and I'm okay to fire and I'm okay to hire and I'm okay to pay and I'm okay to lose money and I'm okay to make money and like you know what I mean? I'm just I'm, I'm I know what you mean journey, but I'm like but the biggest thing is I'm also trusting I'm exactly where I'm meant to be. And I think that too often people don't like what you just said, influence. I was like, I know how to influence people like that. I was so grateful. I did door to door sales since I was a little kid. I learned sales. I learned how to talk my way out of getting my seasons pass pulled for ducking the rope the other day to speeding ticket to getting, you know, convincing this guy, I want to get this, this and this. Right. And then I'm okay. You know, and then you said process, like people don't realize there's a system. If you looked at my freaking setup right now, I part of my process, I have an assistant right here. She's sending messages. I have my calendar set up right on this screen. I have my messaging on this screen. I have my air table on this screen. I have my, you know, and everything has a process. Brother, and while you're sitting in a shared experience right now, exactly what I'm talking about, leading yeah, like, to an ecosystem merger that's going to lead to speaking engagements for both of us. Exactly. And I'm like, how quickly can I get this content to good notes, to clipped up, to, you know, onto my next thing, like to where I can efficiently impact and change and scale more things and people and then self mastery it's like this morning i was reading i'm reading this great book i did a powerful meditation in mind valley to vision i'm actually reading his book who did that which is mind power of extraordinary mind and you know it's just like or the code of the extraordinary mind but like for me i'm still learning like i'm like oh yeah. cool like what do i need to learn today and i and i took notes this morning and i learned all these new formulas and da, 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 da. Love so i love what you just said and, and I really do appreciate you guys. And, and and guys, go look up Unblinded. Go look up their integrity-based influence. Go look up, you know, Adam uh, and, and Sean, his partner, and, and go um, follow these guys. They're they're making a difference in the world, hence why we had you guys on the podcast. And and, and I appreciate you being on here, man. And, and one more, uh, you know, my also co-founder, uh, Fernando Valencia, an absolute rock star in process mastery. I can't wait. I know you met him, but I can't wait to, to, for to you to experience more of of what we're doing on that end. And I just wanna, before we go, um, acknowledge you for that acknowledgement and your ability and, and what the superpower of influence and who you are and what you are. Um, I, I got that immediately, not only your vocal qualities, your tonality, but your depth of listening, the your, your ability to just capture who I am with things that I'm saying, your acknowledgements, your validations that have come back to me, the emotional energetic transference and just your your certainty. And that's why I felt goosebumps throughout this entire process. And man, I just felt so seen, so heard. And I just want to appreciate you at the highest level of mastery. There's no, no confusion or surprise why you're doing what you're doing in the world, brother. So thank you for having me on. And uh, I just want you to know I respect you at the highest level. Thank you. Thank you, my man. Guys, go give this a, a comment, like, share. We really do appreciate your guys' feedback at the end of these and uh, look forward to you guys in January. Hope you guys can make it out as well and uh, talk soon. Thanks, bro.